Uh, so given today's low interest rate environment, the challenge of finding yield is greater than it's ever been. And the days of buy and hold fixed income investments providing for a client's retirement are, are gone. So now advisors need to find new ways to generate that yield. Now, while private lending has existed for years, the proliferation of private credit as an asset class itself is still relatively new, but may provide an option for those advisors trying to find that yield. So, Rob, I guess I just wanted to start with a little bit of a, a background on the space um, and, and kind of how it's done this year and how it's sort of done uh, given everything going on with the pandemic. Yeah, for sure. It's probably a good starting point. Um, obviously, you know, I think, um, you know, many of the private lending funds, uh, especially the ones that exist in retail land, for the most part have, you know, been launched in the last decade. So one thing that was kind of, um, you know, eluding, you know, their track record was going through, uh, you know, a, um, you know, a recessionary environment or a crisis environment. So, uh, you know, COVID, COVID definitely gave us that, that opportunity or that data point to, uh, to judge these private lending funds upon, um, you know, from what I'm seeing across the board, you know, ourselves, as well as a number of our competitors, um, you know, most of them friendly, you know, on the street is that, uh, you know, everyone's holding in quite well. Um, performance has been fairly, you know, generally quite positive uh, across the board. Doesn't mean that some lending uh, funds and firms aren't taking some reserves or provisions or, or some write-offs, but from what I'm seeing, um, you know, performance is positive, which considering the environment uh, is quite good. So a good test, uh, you know, uh, to have behind us.